Hi everyone, my name is Ian Zhou. Today I'm talking about question 1 for homework 11. The question is the stochastic process xt is real WSS with all two correlation Rxs plot and power spectral density less axis omega show us a Rxs plot is real and even. Sx omega is even and non inductive. Now for the first one, we got R x s tau equal to E x t plus tau multiply R x t is real. So R x s tau equal to R x s t plus tau t equal to E x t plus tau multiply x t equal to E x t x t plus tau equal to R x t t plus z t, t plus tau equal to r x s minus tau so r x tau is even for question b is s x x omega equal to infinity to minus infinity r x tau e minus j w t d tau <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> equal to infinity to minus infinity. I x as tau cosine omega tau t tau multiply minus g infinity minus infinity x x tau sine omega tau t tau equal to two infinity to zero i x as tau cosine omega t tau equal to 2 infinity to 0 i access <coughs> tau cosine minus omega tau t tau equal to s access minus omega hence therefore s x x omega is even for for example to sh for example, to show s axis omega is non negative, let us discuss flowing examples. Uh, we got the graph xd transport by wss equal to h omega equal to yt. Suppose h omega is an ideal bypass system. h omega equal to 1, 0. 1 is between u1 smaller than omega and omega bigger than, smaller than u2 and for zero is l elsewise for zero smaller than e <coughs> yt square equal to 1 over 2 pi omega infinity to minus infinity h omega square has access omega d omega equal to 1 over 2 pi omega 2 to omega 1 as access omega d omega so we we see the area of s access omega in any interval is non-negative this is possible only if s access omega bigger and uh, equal than zero everywhere so that's the whole process for the question one thank you